good morning from Disney's All-Star Music Resort. I'm LJ with today's Adventure Stop, and we're gonna go for a resort tour today, the Outer Grounds, the Commons areas. Are you ready for today's adventure? Come on, let's go. And straight ahead to the red carpet is the front desk, but also the Bell Services desk. The giant All-Star Music letters here greet you, and I'm sure if you've been here, you've taken a picture in front of these, and hopefully your first name of the first letter begins with that and you posed out there. That's what I did, of course, being LJ with today's Adventure Stop. And welcome. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor and subscribe down below for more adventures like this and give this video a nice like and thumbs up. Hey, thanks. And as we make our way inside to the front desk area, we have Maestro Mickey's quick service type of shop where you can grab your souvenirs, something to drink, and some toiletries you might have forgotten along the way. As we make our way past this mural of rock stars headed towards the backside where the pool is, we have the intermission food court and we have the arcade. That's the intermission food court. Pretty much they serve your typical items. Like for breakfast, you'll get your pancake, sausage. You'll have like a bagel breakfast sandwich. And for lunch and dinner, you'll have your basic burgers and pizza and chicken sandwiches and nuggets and things like that. And sometimes they'll throw in something cool, like a, I think I had steak here once, which is a nice rarity. But uh, check out the menus, they're always changing for the most part. So this here is the pool, featuring the three caballeros right up in there. Pool hours vary, so do the recreational activities. As you can see, it's still pretty early in the morning, so they're cleaning and pressure washing everything. Giant, larger than life-size maracas surround the Calypso area with the Calypso pool. You'll have the different facilities in there. You'll have laundry services, restrooms, and very similarly to all the other two remaining resorts, the All-Star Movies and All-Star Sports, you'll find Singing Spirits pool bar. Kind of curious, what do these run now? Ooh, look at that, Mai Tai or a piña colada, like a frozen slushy piña colada. 15 and 16 dollars and a bourbon breeze 17. They've definitely gone up. How about that blueberry lemonade? 16 dollars. And a regular strawberry marg 17 dollars my friends. And you know, one funny thing about being here in Florida, the first time I came here, I'm like, there's a lot of funky smells around here. You know, well, it is kind of very humid and swampy here in Florida, but the funny smells were coming from the people, I guess, because, well, they're here and they get sweaty and uh, they're here on vacation, but sometimes those funky smells come from the people, not necessarily just nature. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll be damned. And I am proud to say I am clean, refreshed, and smelling good as I stand underneath this giant marimba, almost like a giant xylophone. Sure, Jan. And as most of the all-star resorts, they have theming, and they often have these giant oversized caricatures that hide the stairwell. That happens to be a bongo, but this is just a uh, shadow outline of a trumpeteer. Let's head over to this giant drum set. And would you take a look at this giant drum set at the Jazz Inn? Well, if this is the Jazz Inn, that can only mean on the opposite side, you'll have the Jazz Out. Oh, no, wait, it's also the Jazz Inn. I can remember back in the day when I kind of used to do, you know, artistic type videos, and I sometimes still do occasionally, but I can remember I was trying to get the most perfect shot by this fountain for the longest time. It wasn't happening. It's too many people were walking by, so. Still made it happen, but I don't really do things like that as much anymore. All right, and this is the other pool. Hours change and vary. It's summertime right now, so the pool hours, they open at 10, but stay open pretty late at 11 p.m. Check that pool out. And as most, again, there's different recreational activities. Almost pretty much all of these resorts have movie under the stars where they do like a blow up screen and a bunch of people gather around and watch movies um, while on vacation. So it kind of blows my mind why you would do that, but I guess some people like to, right? 
And this area back here reminds me of Broadway, but I'm sure it's a whole lot cleaner, smells nicer, and a lot less like urine and throw up and other gross things that you'll find on the actual Broadway in New York. So definitely uh, a better place to be. Oh, it's the piano pool, I get it. All I see are these big amplifiers. I'm like, why do you have amplifiers if it's piano? I was kind of confused there, but it sort of makes sense. This area over here, if you don't know what that is, it appears to be a giant microphone because over here you have our country fair, country western themed with your fiddles and giant cowboy boots. And a half hidden Mickey there. Ooh, that sun is definitely starting to beat down now. Here it is only a little past eight o'clock and it's already, uh, I'm feeling it. So th these resort tours, I love doing them. Well, because you guys like to watch them and I like to give you guys what you love to watch. Whether you're random and you kind of stumble across, 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 across my channel somehow and, uh, or you're a subscriber and you came back for more. But um, I started watching these videos a long time ago when I was searching for rooms and stuff like that. But for some reason, I kept getting recommended videos from this younger guy. He had like a curly mustache. We're headed off to another Disney resort. Which one are we gonna go to? We're gonna go bus stop number two for Port Orleans French Quarter. And for the longest time, I was like, I'm not gonna click on this guy. I don't know what it is, but I don't like the looks of him. I'm not gonna do it. And I thought, after a couple years, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna click on this guy. And that turns out to be the Tim Tracker. And he's a local here. He goes to Disney World a lot. And also does a lot of other local videos and home vlogs and whatnot. So with that being said, we are off and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. But uh, it's kind of the accumulation of all these vloggers. Uh, and eventually I got to meet quite a few of them. Justin Scard, who also does a lot of Disneyland videos, but also comes out here. And uh, Adam the Woo, of course, who I met, and he uh, sold me one of his drones. And Let's see where the day takes us. Did I just make a circle? That was, I could swear it was over there. That's why I kind of like, wait, where? Put on the brakes. Maybe I got turned around. I don't know. Let's keep on going. Okay, and we have a giant speaker there. It's going to try to get the rabbit, but I think he just scurried away. Oh, there he is. Wildlife. Florida bunny. There he goes. And truth be told, I've stayed at the All-Star Movies Resort a lot of times. So many times I can't even remember now. I stayed at the All-Star Sports right next door just once. There were kind of older rooms that still had kind of a ratty carpet in there before they were remodeled. I think they're remodeled by now. They should be remodeled by now. But I've never stayed here at the All-Star Music Resort. And it's kind of copy paste. All three are very similar, just the theming. Eh, a little lackluster for me, but maybe it's your thing. I don't know. For for me, I've stayed at quite a few different resorts. I stayed at uh, the, uh, what is it, the uh, Fort Wilderness Cabins. That was a unique experience, although now they're kind of changing over, becoming DVC, Disney Vacation Club, uh, exclusive cabins as they're being remodeled. Another giant speaker. Um, stayed at the uh, Animal Kingdom Kidani Resort a few times. They have the Jumbo House and Kidani. And that's really awesome where there's uh, wild animals that roam about right outside your balcony in the courtyard area and you can hear them crunching at night and walking around and eating things. They're non-predatory animals like your zebras and your um, uh, greater kudu, which are the thing with the horns and whatnot and those uh, giant birds, which I can't remember, the crown cranes and whatnot. But yeah, it's a pretty cool resort. And they have that really good restaurant called Sanaa in there as well with the bread service and all that. If you've been there, let me know delicious so I know I probably didn't show the entire resort hopefully I got most of it as we jazz in I'm actually gonna make my way and jazz out of here because I'm starting to whew, I'm starting to work up a sweat just a little bit getting a little bit of shiny forehead on there it's gonna be a long day looking forward to it let's make our way back out and look at that it looks like scary freaky mist but that's actually the uh, pressure washer Clean the pool area. 
And as we make our way around to the main building, this here is the front desk, the food court, the bell services, everything happens in this front area, the bus pickup area on the other side of the building here. This resort actually is uh, one of the smallest ones it turns out actually. So as I face away from the building here, this is the middle resort, the all-star resorts. Off to my left over here is the all-star sports. Again, this is all-star music and off yonder, off to the right there is all-star movies. Both all-star movies over there and all-star sports over there are two of the biggest that house almost 2,000 rooms, whereas this one here is barely like a little over 1,400 rooms. So this is the smaller resort overall. Still just about the same. They're all priced about the same for the most part. Um, but yeah, not as much, but it still has all the amenities like all the other resorts. It's just not as big. Bell service is behind me. Hey, so I'm LJ with today's Adventure Stop here at Disney's All-Star Music Resort. A little confused with all three, right? Um, if you like today's video, give it a nice like and thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below, and we'll see you on the next adventure.